Hi team, this is Chris Abram from Go Math. We're going to be doing number 24 on the General Curriculum 03 Math Practice Test. Today, um, I'm going to start by reading over the question and, this, and going right to the answer. Because this is a, can be a confusing question and I want to make sure that you sort of see why it's correct right away. Then we can talk about why the other questions are uh, incorrect. So let's start by reading the problem. First of all, I'm going to take a quick glance at the problem. Um, I know that it's, I'm going to have to interpret this right here, so it's going to fall under this area here. You know, I noticed there are a combination of variables and constants, so it's going to involve algebra. And then there looks like there's a series of questions based on, uh, looks like maybe the order of operations in which uh, they're doing this to solve for x. It's just by glancing at the picture. So now let's uh, read the problem. Use the procedure below to answer the question that follows. So I've got to follow this procedure, and this is where you're going to stop the video for a moment. And you're actually going to, f you're going to actually work through this. Because it looks like they're taking this equation here, and they're solving for x. And work through that, see if it's accurate or not accurate. And then we continue. Which of the following is a major flaw in the procedure shown above? So there's some mistake here. We've got to find it. A, the concept of the opposite of a number is confused with subtraction. The equal sign is used to connect expressions that are not equal. The solution contains an error in the, arith the arithmetic of sign numbers. The order of operations between subtraction and division is reversed. There's a whole bunch of ways where you can get lost in this problem. Let's focus on why, um, what the correct answer is. I want you to turn your attention to B. Let's focus on B. The equal sign is used to connect expressions that are not equal. Well, if we, if we take a closer look at this, you know, they're given this ex equation, this algebraic equation, 3x plus 25 equals 4. And right now it's set up so it's balanced. This expression here is equal to this expression here. If I wanted to manipulate this, I could, I could do that. I, you know, it wouldn't be that hard. I, if I wanted to solve for x, I, I would follow the rules. That I, to keep this balanced, I would subtract 25 from this side and 25 from this side. All right, so that would get me negative 3x is equal to 4 minus 25 is negative 21. Now let's just see, Did they started at the same point and it looks like they minus 25 and minus 20 and they minus 25 which would appear correct. They should have got minus 3x is equal to negative 21. Alright, so it looks like they did do that. They got a minus 21 here and then they divided it here by 3, which, which makes sense. They got the 7. The problem is, the problem is that they didn't follow the correct procedure. At this point right here, to keep this balanced, they should have divided by a negative 3 divided by a negative 3. I know you're going to say, but they divided this by a negative 3. And they still got to the correct answer. This is true, but this equate, what, what this is saying, the way they wrote it, they're saying that this is equal to this, which is equal to this. And that's not true, because this equals negative 21. This equals 7, and this equals 7. So how could these be equal? And that is what they're saying is incorrect about this. So let's be clear. It's not that they didn't get the right answer, and I, I get what they did, okay? And maybe you do too. They got to the right answer. They got x equals negative 7. But the way they use the equal signs, what that is saying is that, you know, I'll, I'll do a little, a little bit more fine detail. They're saying here, every time you use an equal sign, you're saying this is equal to that. So they're saying that this expression is equal to this, and I agree. And this is, by the way, is equal to negative 21. This is also equal to negative 21. The problem lies when they start saying 
this is also equal to negative 21? It's not, because it's negative 21 divided by negative 3. It gets you 7. That's incorrect. And this is equal to negative, uh, and this is 7. So they're making a connection here that shouldn't exist. This should just be a new line. They should have followed this, this divided by the negative 3 on both sides. And uh, they would have got to the same answer, but they would have used the correct equal sign. They would have been using uh, the correct steps and not have used the equal sign to connect expressions that don't equal each other.